This is super weird. Take a spaghetti noodle, hold it at the ends, and try to break it like this. Did you see that? It never breaks in two pieces. Let's roll the instant replay. It always breaks into three or more pieces. And if you don't believe me, you should try it for yourself. And it's not just noodles. Oh my word, look at that. The pole snapped. Did you catch that? Look at it again. His pole snapped, not just in half, but into three pieces. But why? I mean, what's happening here? Well, spaghetti is long and skinny and flexible until it reaches its breaking point. Uh, this pasta puzzle stumped some really smart people. Even Richard Feynman, who solved some of the toughest problems in quantum physics. His noodle couldn't figure out these noodles. Until 2005, when a pair of MIT scientists cracked it, literally. They built a high-tech spaghetti snapper so they can control and measure the popping pasta. When a spaghetti noodle bends, the outer side is stretched in tension while the inner side is squeezed in compression. Well, the first break always seems to happen near the middle, where its curvature is the highest. But there's all this stored energy in that bent noodle, and that energy has to go somewhere and gets suddenly released as this rapid recoil. The scientists found that the two halves whip back in the opposite direction as they try to straighten. It sends a shock wave down each piece that warps it so sharply that they often break in one or more other spots too. This is called a cascading failure. And that's why you almost never get just two pieces. These same scientists also figured out that you actually can get spaghetti to break into only two pieces if you twist it before you bend it. That way, when it snaps, that unwinding motion cancels out some of the wave motion and prevents the cascading failure. Now, a pole vaulter isn't gonna care how many pieces their pole snaps into. I mean, two's already too many. But it's still pretty awesome that a noodle can unlock a mystery of physics. Follow me for more cool science videos. So weird.